Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this Tinderbox lesson, we're going to focus on designators, and particularly a unique designator called the Agent Designator. Uh, now, let me go ahead and start sharing my desktop so you can see what's going on. And now what agent designators allow you to do is to be able to help and or designators for uh, for that matter across the board. What they allow you to do within Tinderbox is to help Tinderbox understand the context of the particular action you're asking it to do. So, for example, if you're running a uh, action code or export code within a, a query, an edict, uh, a rule, an on add function, or in your export templates, um, designators can be incredibly helpful as adjectives to help uh, Tinderbox kind of know what you really want it to do and uh, and where it's uh, where it's at within your particular flow. So for example, are you asking Tinderbox to pull data from a parent or a grandparent or a sibling uh, a, a associated with a particular note? And you can learn about um, all of the other designators in, in other lessons that we'll be recording. Uh, for this lesson, we're going to focus on one particular designator, which is the agent designator. And it's really, really useful uh, when you're running agents. So let's go ahead and pop over to our demo file here and you'll, um, you know, you'll see um, what I mean about this. So you'll see I've got three notes in this demo, uh, demonstration file. I've got note A, company A, company B, and company C. And company A and company B are have the sector or value in their attribute sector of tech company. And company C has the value of consumer. So if I go ahead and run uh, this, uh, this query here, and I paste it into the agent query, you're going to see what Tinderbox is going to do is it's going to go search the file uh, and I can have it um, run the, uh, update the agent now. And it's going to go find all of the companies that meet the search criteria of tech, uh, which it did. Uh, it found company A and company B as we would ex expect. And if I go in here and I type the word consumer, um, you'll see that it's now going to go find consumer you'll now see it will go out and we'll run the agent again and you'll see that it will go find uh, the companies that match the criteria consumer, which is company C as, as we would expect. Now here's where the agent designator comes into play. What we want to be able to do is you see how I kind of had to, you know, uh, enter, you know, enter my code in between the two quotes. And it's so easy to actually make a mistake there and delete a quote or delete a parent parenthetical argument, especially if you have a, like really more complicated nested uh, queries. So what we're going to be able to, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new attribute. I'll call it Q sector and you can do, uh, and do this in any kind of labeling or uh, nomenclature that makes sense for you. Um, I typically like to call these kind of query um, attributes, uh, with, uh, lead them with a Q for query. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, delete this uh, agent query here. And I'm now going to you know, tell my agent to go and search the Q sector attribute for the value that I want the agent to search against. So I'm going to say Q, uh, sorry, I'm going to say Q sector agent. Okay, so let me tell you what's happening here. I'm telling Tinderbox, go to um, all of the notes that have uh, the attribute sector, which is all of them, um, format sector to a string, and search uh, in a non-case sensitive way the value that is in the agent's Q sector attribute. Um, as opposed to, if I didn't have the word agent, let me kind of explain that here. If I didn't have the word agent, Tinderbox wouldn't understand what to do. Because if you just said I contains Q sector, well, how does Tinderbox know what to do? Or do you want it to take the value of sector from the agent or the value of sector from company A, company B, company C? It wouldn't know your intention. It tried to guess, but it doesn't really know. So by having the designator in here, agent, essentially what we're telling Tinderbox to do, let's put it back in here, is to is to go search all of the notes and pull the value tech from the agent note and search against that particular uh, value against all of the other notes. So when we do that, we're gonna go ahead here and you're gonna see, uh, and we're gonna force the uh, Tinderbox to run the agent again. And voila, company A and company B uh, pop up right here. And again, if I go ahead and now, instead of having to change the text up here in the, uh, in the agent string itself, I can change it here. And I type consumer and then I force it to run the agent. 
and now company C shows up. And so essentially, the uh, I'm essentially telling the agent to pull the value of the string I wanted to search it from, from the attribute, rather than me having to manipulate or manually edit uh, within the agent uh, string itself. And again, this can be really, really useful when you're running a number of different agents or you're wanting to analyze really big files. Um, this can be a, a very effective mechanism for you to be used. So uh, I, I highly encourage you to learn more about the agent designator and its use within all of your different types of queries. Now, remember, I just use this designator within the context of an agent. You can also use this um, agent designator um, and other uh, other functions and or all designators and other functions as well, such as your on ads uh, uh, rules, edicts, as well as your export code.